Hey neighbors, how you doing? It's Miss C, the one and only, and it's mukbang time. Be ready? It's mukbang time. Hey, it's mukbang time. It's mukbang time. Hey, it's mukbang time. I got a healthy one, not a fat one. I got a healthy one, not a fat one. I got a healthy one, not a fat one. It's mukbang time. <laughs> hey, 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 how y'all doing this Saturday? I know you're not supposed to date the videos because people watch this video on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But it's all good. I just want the ones that's watching it on the day I'm recording it to feel a little special. To know I was thinking about you. That I did this mukbang with you in mind. Okay? And I know somebody probably saying, Didn't I just see you with that shirt on, Missy, but in a different color? Yes. Because when us women shop, if we find something that we love in one color, and the manufacturer got the nerve to make it in seven different colors, we're going to get one in every color we like. Can I get an amen, somebody? Starting off this healthy move bun with some good old cold ice water. I know I've been doing a little exploring, but I will never, ever, ever, ever get too far away from the water. Because it gives and brings life. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today thanking you and praising you for this rainy but blessed Saturday. Thank you, Lord, for the rest those of us have received on today that took this day as a sign to stay in the house. <laughs> and for those that had to get out, Lord, thank you, Lord, for letting them make it back home safe. Now, Lord, thank you for this food. May it do no hurt, harm, or danger. And may it be good to the body and the soul. In Jesus' name, amen. So today on the menu... We have some roasted chicken. This is healthy. Uh-huh. <laughs> we got some good old greens. Not with fat back, but it got a sprinkle of bacon in there. For a little extra flavor. And for dessert, y'all already know about my pineapples. Your girl love pineapples. So let's eat. I got something from each of, well, the majority of the food groups. I don't have any carbs. These are, um, what they call it? Oh, hell. I don't know. Basic carbs or simple carbs because I don't know how that helps, Jory. Y'all just know it's good for ya. So, yesterday, when I did my healthy book bug, I tried to do one. If I just had the steak and the salad, it would have been a healthy mook bug. But I had to bring the fondue into the picture. But it was good and it was worth it. So, let's eat, y'all. Let's, let's eat. So, I got me some nice chicken. Mm. Oh, rotisserie. No, this is not rotisserie. This baked chicken. Mm. Mm. Oh, goodness. And the spices. The spices, right? Mm. Why baked chicken do that? It just melt in your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. I don't need that for. Mm. 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 
And I know it's Saturday. I've been in the house, so I'm looking basic. No makeup on, my hair pulled back. Got some studs on. Honey, I ain't gonna go out there in no the rain. I don't like driving in the rain. If you didn't know, now you know. So if you ever need me, you better send up a prayer to make sure it ain't raining first. Because when I was little, I had a bad experience in the rain. While my mom was driving, we thought we were going to die. Mm -hmm. What is it then? And it bothered me ever since. So I don't like doing it. You like driving in the rain? Oh. Y'all, yeah, I know. I shouldn't be eating the skin, but the season was on it. Dang it. Well, yeah. mm. 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 and I know I could have cornbread with my greens and all that, but you got to cut back somehow or another. Mmm. Garlic in there. Oh, mustard greens and kale mixed together for a good, healthier boost. It tastes so good. Oh. Mm. I'm sorry. You know, when it's good, I be forgetting to share. Mmm, 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 mmm. Did you see that bacon on there? <laughs> mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I know some of y'all don't eat bacon. But the Lord said everything he made was good. It's good to me. Now, do I eat a lot of bacon or a lot of pork? No, I don't. Since I started this channel, you have not seen your girl eat one pork chop. Not saying that I won't ever, but it's going to be far few and in between. Cause your girl love a good fried pork chop. Get to be seasoned right too. I've been in kick somebody under the table. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Look at that. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. And then that's so good, I forgot what I was gonna say. But um most people eat collard greens and cornbread together. Mm. Mm. Did I want some cornbread? But of course. But I acted a little bad this week with that fondue. Then I had that party on Wednesday. Cause one of my sisters was leaving to move to Florida, so I 
can't be acting too bad. I want to stay under 300 pounds. I'm not trying to go back above it. And when you see me in person, I don't look like I weigh that much. But if that's what the scale used to say, I believe it. Because I'm a little short something. So, you know when you show it, your weight make you look even bigger. Okay? Like, um, like a little oompa loompa. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going Y'all remember Willy Wonka? The original one, not the new one with... Christopher Reeves or whatever his name is. I'm not my dough. I know dessert supposed to be for last, but you know I'm not like everybody else. So I'm gonna mix this here. Cause all of it is good. I need to find a new word, huh? Everything can be good, but it do. Tasty. Delicious. Scrumptious. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Keep pairing this around so y'all can see the, that pretty chicken. Look at that pretty chicken. Thank you so much for eating with me. When I ask what y'all be eating, y'all be eating some good stuff. I was like, dang, I need to be with y'all. Y'all talking about wanting to be with me. I be wanting to come up over there. <laughs> dang. Yeah, I know it's Saturday. I'm gonna find me some movie to watch today, tonight. I wanted to go to the movies last week to go see the new Purge. Everybody went to go watch because people been saying they've been going to the movies. They've been showing. They've been going to the movies, but they haven't gave no review. Not nobody I know. I mean, I'm going to have to go watch it for myself. Unless it wasn't nothing to talk about. That could be the case. I don't know. Mm-hmm. 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 Lord, that all that makes happen. Ooh, that pineapple good. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. Get a fork. Don't you put your hand in my plate. You better have a fork. Some some um, tongs or something. <laughs> oh, yeah.
This was four pieces of chicken here, a thigh, a breast, and two baby wings. But that's cool with me. I'd rather small chicken than that oversized fake stuff they be selling. Some of them chicken in them restaurants be tasting funny. They smell funny. They don't smell like, not smell like, smell funny like it's spoiled or old or rotten. It smell funny like chemically funny. Then they be all big and oversized and stuff. Mm -mm. I don't like that though. Because you can tell they definitely pump some steroids in that chicken. Mm. But this little bitty one here, this is a smile. Yeah, but it smells like regular chicken. so good and I did right today I cooked just enough in the days I cooked just enough I wish I would have cooked more cause it be good Joe good to me. So what y'all doing this Saturday, this weekend? I think about going out. It's starting. Them days getting dressed through the week and on the weekend to go out. <laughs> I go out, but most of the time when I go out, it's a planned going out. When you young and a teenager in your early 20s, baby. As soon as a friend called and said, what you doing? You already know what's up. It's about to go up, down, all the way around. Shoot, ain't no telling. What you about to get into? <laughs> Woo. 
I did some crazy stuff. I have done some crazy stuff in my life. Mm -mm -mm. In the sake of fun. I'm just glad I lived long enough to tell about it. I went to the club, they were shooting up. They was fights, stabbings. <laughs> and that was fun, okay? Oh my goodness. Oh. And that was fun. You wanted to be where the action was, even though you could have got killed. But you didn't care. Because when you're young, you're stupid. Sometimes. I'm not saying everybody that's young is stupid, but. You feel as though you're going to live forever. Can't nothing harm you or touch you. Until it do, then you sit down somewhere. And chill out. And then slowly but surely, you still go, start going out again. And it's just a cycle. Sometimes you go out a lot. Sometimes you go out a little. Some people just say forget it and just stay at home. Or have parties at their house so they don't have to leave their comfort zone. Because you know who you're going to invite to your house. But if you go to a club, you don't know who's going to be there. Your worst enemy, or old friend, new friend, you don't know. Just check out. Ain't nothing like some baked chicken. I know we all love some fried chicken, but this baked chicken is good job. Do any of y'all have any um good club stories? You went to the club, met somebody, or something happened, you got in a fight. Oh, somebody wanted to take you out to eat for breakfast after the club. Now that was fun, going to breakfast. Because it already be... Four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock. Because mm -hmm. some clubs close there too. And the other ones open up at two and stay open all night. Do y'all watch the TV show, Claws? Mm -hmm. 
with Nishi, uh, Nisi Nash. That's a good show. I love me some Nisi. Did you have to work today? Was you off? Did you run errands? Did you do everything today that you weren't able to do through the week? Should I get out of my garlic? Mm -hmm. Garlic is good for you. Mm -hmm. It's just something about eating healthy, like the remorse don't set in after you eat healthy food. If anything, you feel good, like you made a good decision. But when you eat a whole bunch of bad stuff, it tastes good while you're eating it, and you happy. But then you feel bad later, because now you know, you got to go work it off. Or it's going to turn into fat. I'm so glad y'all like the salt grass steakhouse mukbang yesterday. I tried to take you out, show you a good time here in Texas, but they was throwing a party, huh? A part time. Roasted chicken. Mm. Will that work? Oh no. Mm -mm. tonight but hopefully it's good if I can't find nothing to watch I'll be reading a book a book I always get your girl to where she need to be mm. it's nothing I mean nothing like a good book
I know I'm quiet today, y'all. This food is good. It's delicious. I mean everything from the pineapple to the roasted chicken to the mustard and kale greens. Ooh. Jeez Louise. Mm, mm, I was going to stop by the red box and pick up a movie. But I didn't. Mmm. That's good. So good. Somebody now. That my bestie ain't nothing left on that bone. What did you eat? <laughs> I can hear. But I can hear what you think. I can hear. Hmm. Hey, I'm just trying to make the best use out of what I was blessed with, honey. Cause I ain't playing no games with it. <clears throat> None. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like, some, some people, not all people, that have dogs, like that, eat that food. And throw out the bones and stuff, but 
Y'all know I don't have no dog. A puppy. And they be so cute. But I have carpet, so. I probably won't get a dog. Until I make my mind up to get one. And I get a house. So if y'all ever see me with a dog. I done finally made up my mind. Because I want a short pay. I think that's how you call it. I think they from. I think it's an Oriental dog or something. But it kind of look like a bulldog, but it don't. But it's a skinny dog, but it got extra skin. It's real wrinkly and stuff. And you can play with his little rolls. I think that would be so cute. Because I got rolls and <laughs> rolls on people ain't as cute. <clears throat> Are they soft? Do people like to play with them? Yes, but that's the last place you want a man touching you <clears throat> is on your your love handles. I ain't saying nothing else about that. Okay. Plus it tickles. I'm ticklish. My brother used to torture me. Do you hear me? When I was little, he tortured me as a little kid. Oh, I hated him. Mmm. 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 Y'all. My brother used to torture me. He would hold me down. And he would grab my foot. Like he would lay across. Like the middle part of my body. And grab my foot. And tickle. The bottom of my feet. Thank God. I went to the bathroom. Before he did that. Because if he did. If I didn't. I've been in pee everywhere. Do you hear me? Because he would not stop. Oh, I used to hate that. Oh, my God. I hated that. I hate, I hate it. Don't mess with my feet. Unless I tell you to. If you do, you're not my friend. You're not my friend. Mm -mm. And then, Michael Jackson was very much alive. Very, very. He was the king. Well, he was the king until he died, but he was the king of Papa. Everything else. But y'all remember the song Thriller? I was sitting down in the house and that video came on. The beginning part was fine, but when they left the movies and started walking past that cemetery, baby, and them dead people, them zombies started coming after them and they ran into that house, that old abandoned creepy house. I've never seen the house so creepy. Baby, that video scared the hell out of me. Mm, mm, mm. Scared me to death. And do you know our parents used to give us a little money or whatever. And he used to blow his and I used to save mine. And when he would want my money I would tell him no and he would get mad and if my parents wasn't at home well if our parents wasn't at home he would trap me <laughs> this I like torture don't it that's what older brothers and sisters do they torture your ass they just torture you and he uh, would lock me in the room 
and turn off the light and sing the just a thriller song. It don't matter if it was in the daytime or nighttime, but he would mostly do it at night because it's dark and you can't see them. And he would sing that song and I start crying. <laughs> oh Lord, Lord, Lord. And he would end up getting the money because I was scared and I would want him to stop. So for him to stop, he would. Um, I would have to give him the money. But boy, when our parents got home, I was snitching, honey. I was snitching. And he would get in trouble. And they would just give me more money. <laughs> but he didn't care. Because he already had all the little fun with his friends he wanted to. Oh, Joker. And he hated. He hated. He hate when I bring it up. He hate when I bring that up. Because I throw it in his face. I be like, you know how much money you owe me? And he be like, oh, you own that again? It's funny, y'all. It's funny to me. I'm like, yes, I want my money. I want all my money you owe me. Will I ever get it? Probably not. Because when you loan money to family or you give family something, they feel as though they're obligated to it because they family. But I don't feel as though that's true. In certain cases, maybe, but for the most part, whatever you borrow, you should pay it back. Because sooner or later, if you already borrowing money, you're going to need to borrow some more later too. But when you don't pay somebody back, they feel as though why should they give you they money if you didn't pay them back. That's why. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. good. Oh. Mm, crown apple is good. Sorry, y'all. That's the hard core part. I can't eat that. But. That's why. I have learned to say when somebody needs to borrow some money, if I have it to give and I can spare it and don't need it at the time, I'll give it and let them know when I will be expecting it back. Because a person can ask to borrow some money, that means you know you got to pay me back. But if they just ask them for some money like, hey, can I have, have is different from borrowing. Borrowing you give back half a person don't have to give it back. But if you ever in a situation and somebody asks you for some money, the best answer to say is either yes or no. That maybe and I don't know and I'll see you and I'll think about it. Don't go through all that. If you don't want to give it to them, just if you don't want to give it to them, just say no. No matter how they feel. Because it's your money at the end of the day. Can't nobody make you feel bad enough to just hand over your, your money. It's your money. So, say no or say yes. And then, if they born, born it, let them know when you will be expecting your money back. Ask them, hey, when the next time you going to get some bread or some money or whatever. When are you going to be able to pay me back? And if they don't pay you back, then you know that's not the person you need to be um, let borrowing money. But if they pay you back, then that's how you build up a trust with somebody. If they pay you back, 
then most likely if the future in the future if they need to borrow money again you'll be more willing because they pay you back every time excuse me you let them borrow money but everybody not like that Mm. Oh, that's good. Another hard piece, y'all. Mm -mm. But some people be counting the money in your wallet. And I be like, excuse you? Why are you worrying about what's in my purse? Or my bank? Or my bra? Or anywhere else? <laughs> Why are you all up in my hand? But if somebody see me with some money and they ask me for some money and I have money but don't have it to give, I'll just say I'm sorry I do have money on me at this time but not to lend or not to loan out. I ain't going to sit up there a lot and say I, I, I don't have no money when I do. I ain't no need to lie. Just say no. I'll say I have it but not to give out. It's the truth. And they just don't have to accept it. And that if they the type of people that constantly beg and beg and beg, go ahead and move around and leave. Because a person, some people feel as though they can keep on begging you and asking you to break you down to go ahead and give in. If you give in, that's on you. But people know what to do and say to get something that's not theirs. So be careful. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, it's going to be dinner for the night. And it was good.